I am out here on Sunday and it is Mother's Day. There is a nice breeze blowing, which is very wonderful, other than the fact that I am trying to use a hat. Boy, that makes it sound like I'm just like horribly uncoordinated. I'm trying to use a hat. Wow. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Tiffany and this is the Not So Cowardly Lioness. So I'm out here on Sunday and it's Mother's Day and I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all you moms out there. I hope you've had a wonderful day. I know it is Monday or possibly Tuesday when you're seeing this, depending on your time zone, but I hope your Mother's Day was very, very special. For me and my family, my son just calls me dad. He was not young when I transitioned. I'm not even sure that would have made a difference. I fathered him. I am not against trans women being called mom. I think it is a personal decision and each family has to make their own decisions. I think it is absolutely wonderful that families stay together when one member is transgender, whether it's a trans female or a trans male. I think it's absolutely wonderful that families can stay together and still act as a family unit. In my family, I'm still dad. I don't celebrate Mother's Day other than to wish my mom a happy Mother's Day and to wish my wife a happy Mother's Day. Both are incredibly strong women. They are the type of woman that I would really truly aspire to be. It would be very easy for me to go on a long spiel about my mom. All the things that she's done, all the ways that she's helped. I know not everybody is lucky enough to have a mom like I have. She is just an amazing woman. I could probably talk for two or three hours on all the ways that she's been incredible. But I am going to stick with one story. It's when I was finally dealing with the fact that I'm transgender. I was very slowly coming out to people. And since Pam and I live with my mom, and there's a long story behind that, but since Pam and I live with my mom, my mom was one of the first ones I came out to, other than my wife and my son. When I told her that I am female, that I've always been female, I've always felt female, and I was going to start living as a female, she processed it for a couple of seconds. She never made a face. She never showed any sign of disapproval. She asked two questions. Is this what will make you happy? And is Pam all right with this? And when I answered yes, she said, well, then that's all that matters. You need to be happy. I'm not sure I can put into words how much I love my mother. I know that the time that Pam and I have spent living out here have been such an incredible blessing because I have learned so much more about her than I ever thought possible. There's a nice breeze blowing. I would appreciate it a whole lot more if I wasn't wearing a hat to keep the midday sun off of me. My third camera isn't working today, which is kind of a bummer because I'm watching these birds jump around on this post. I forgot to charge the old cell phones. So of course the day that I don't have my third camera is the day that everything's happening. Today is actually turning out to be a pretty good day. We had a couple of hot days this week. And as I've said before, if I get too hot, I get migraines. I did have a couple of pretty miserable days. It wasn't anything horribly intolerable. I am thankful for that. Today it's been cool. I woke up with no migraine. My Legs have been sore the last few days, and I do not know why. Again, it's tolerable. It's something I can work with. Of course, I say that, and it sounds stupid, because what are my options? I figure out what I can do, and that's what I do. And if what I can do is nothing much, then I do nothing much that day. It's kind of common sense, Tiffy. I'm following a spot. I know no matter how much I point, you will never see the spot. 
And it took me a second to figure out that it's my blind spot and I'm seeing it in the clouds. I have been doing a good job of keeping my vision out of the forefront of my mind, but that sort of just snapped it into place again. I have gone way off topic of what I wanted to stay focused on, and that is the fact that today is Mother's Day. I just want to say that I am so thankful for my mom. She is the most incredible woman. I am so thankful that Pam is the mother of my child. She is an incredible mom, and I am very lucky to have two incredible women in my life. A belated Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Since we're coming to the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications. If you feel so inclined, give me a thumbs up, tell me you liked the video, or please, please leave a comment, a question, a critique down below, and I will answer your comments and questions. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye. It's a few minutes after I finished recording the video. I picked up these avocados that were lying around the avocado tree. The wind must have blown them off. And I came back up here to finish packing up my tripods and I have just totally flat run out of energy. Pack up the stuff while I'm sitting down and hopefully I have enough energy to get into the house in a little bit. Otherwise, thankfully, I have my cell phone and I can call Pam, although I'm not sure what she would be able to do. This is a just absolute sudden, unexpected, disappointing thing to happen. If the video is up at all on Monday, then you'll know that I got in. I don't think this is anything serious. I just ran out of energy. It just, it happened that fast. I really hate ending this video on such a bummer note, but that's where I am right now. I'll go in, I'll tell Pam that I ran out of energy, but then I'll put on my I'm doing fine mask so I don't ruin the rest of the evening. Not much else I can do. Take care. Bye-bye.